In today's video, I will be sharing with you guys a bunch of new and useful Blender add-ons that will help you improve your workflow. These add-ons range from modeling, rigging, animation, and of course geometry nodes. So I'm sure you will find something interesting in today's list. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start with a super interesting add-on, which is all about modeling. But not the type of polygonal modeling that we are used to because Contra SDF has its own twist. So, thanks to the SDF, which is a mathematical representation of shapes with unlimited details, so in simple words, you can easily use the primitives that come with this add-on to perform all Boolean sorts of operations like union, subtract, difference, and intersect for example. And on top of that, you can get a couple of blending modes when performing your Boolean operations so you can choose to get a smooth result, a chamfered edge, and so much more. And once you're done with all those fun stuff, you can easily convert your SDF base model into a mesh that you can play around with, which is necessary to have. But on a side note, I have to tell you that this add-on is still in alpha, and it currently only functions with the 3.3 version of Blender, because I think this is something necessary to keep in mind. Still with the topic of modeling, we have an add-on called Trace Genius with its latest update 2.1. And this one makes every feature better and more useful. Because not only you can convert 2D images into 3D shapes, but you can also fine-tune your effects very easily. For instance, you can add outlines to your selected shapes and even invert your image selection, giving you more possibilities to play around with. Another notable feature is the ability to refine extracted shapes using color and brightness thresholds, which I think makes your models look cleaner and more professional. Moreover, the add-on allows you to separate individual parts of your 3D model after the mesh generation step, which also adds more flexibility to your workflow. Plus, the add-on lets you extrude and bevel your extracted shapes, which is great I think because it makes the process fully automated. And let's not forget that it uses an advanced algorithm to clean up any messy geometry. Now, sometimes when you finish modeling a high poly model, you want to transfer all those details to a low poly model using textures and certain materials. And this is where this new add-on called Griebel Bake comes in. Because it is all about baking your Griebel details using textures that you can simply plug into your displacements and normals. One thing worth mentioning is that this tool was developed by no other than Blender Guppy, who is the guy behind many famous hard surface modeling add-ons such as Random Flow and Creative Flow. And although this add-on was specifically designed to go hand in hand with the Random Flow add-on, don't worry because it works for any type of greeble, I mean any use case that you can think of. And to make it even better, it allows you to bake all sorts of maps for you to use, like normal maps, ambient occlusion, depth, alpha, color, emission, and so on. And it is not just a box that can be checked, because you also get a couple of adjustable parameters that you can play around with, which gives you more desirable results for your textures, like distance control, brightness, contrast, and so much more. Next up, we have something that is really interesting. WPLX Lobby is a brand new K-Pack for KitOps Pro 2, but it is unlike any other pack, since it uses a very complicated node setup or node setups to achieve the results that you see on the screen. And if you thought that room setups that you are looking into are 3D scenes, then you are wrong, because it is just a couple of polygons since the materials are doing all the work. And I can go on and on about telling you about the parallax mapping, but that is not the purpose of this video. So all you have to know is that the pack contains over 15 unique highly detailed interior maps that you can use for your buildings, streets, and whatever you like. And just like mentioned, it is super light for your computer since it is just a bunch of textures that are implemented together in interesting ways to get a realistic 3D effect. There is also a new add-on called Dimensions Ruler and Precision Scaler. So we talked about modeling in this video. And this add-on right here can go hand in hand with your modeling projects. The add-on I think is self-explanatory because the tool brings a couple of features that enable you to get the dimensions of your 3D object right within the viewport. And it is actually interactive because you can see the change of your dimensions in real time as you are making the adjustments. And it doesn't just work on the overall dimensions of your object, 
because it has a specific mode that lets you calculate the length between the two different vertices. Another feature that you need to know about is that once you get the distance between your different points, you can set that distance to be a specific value. And what happens next is that the add-on will automatically scale your object based on the distance between those two points, which I think is just amazing to have. The next add-on called Procedural Generators Pack is basically a collection of over 50 geometry node generators. And I don't think anyone can understand how good this deal is, because with over 50 different generators, there are a lot of things that you can accomplish. And before mentioning these generators, I first need to tell you that each and every generator is fully customizable, either by playing around with the values in the modifiers tab, or just by adjusting the values provided in the add-ons interface. And now, let's give you a little bit of a preview of what you expect from this collection. For example, we have vegetation, damage, magic, sand, feathers, hologram, a sword generator, ice and snow, ruins and rocks, water and droplets, spider webs and ivy, dungeons and crates, volumes, trees, bushes, and so much more. So as you can see, there is a lot of value in this one, and there are a lot of things that you can do with it. Next up, we have something a little bit different with the add-on called Image Stock Search, which is all about stock images. So Image Stock Search is a Blender add-on that does exactly as its name suggests. It lets you simply and quickly search for all sorts of stock images to be used right inside of your viewport. And if you don't want to open your browser for such a task, this add-on can do it for you, which is the whole point. So a practical use case of this add-on could be to get images that you use in the background of your renders. Or you could, for example, append images to be used as paintings. Or if you just need a reference to look at. And if you need something like that, then this add-on is gonna be great for this purpose. Oh, and I have to tell you that using the add-on will require a stable internet connection which I think is kind of obvious. And the resolution of the imported images is currently set to a limit of 1880 pixels. So you probably need to keep that in mind. And last but not least, we're gonna talk about something really important, especially in animation, with this add-on called Footlock, which is great for rigging and mocap cleanup. I think anyone who's ever done mocap animations will realize that getting the feet of your character stick to the ground and unlight perfectly is gonna solve a lot of problems. And this is where this footlock add-on comes in handy. It is basically a tool that addresses the common challenge of foot sliding in low-budget mocap setups by allowing you to quickly lock your character's feet in place and adjust the lock's duration with ease. Using a foot lock actually allows you to fine-tune foot position by adjusting the location and rotation of the associated empty object, which ensures precision of foot placement. And the best thing about this add-on is that it is non-destructive, because it preserves the integrity of your original mocap data while at the same time refining the foot placement. Also, it is compatible with both IK and FK rigs, making it integrate easily with various mocap setups. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in one of these new add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.